Hi, I'm Andre from Luziogenic and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a physics-based seesaw. So a seesaw is basically a board that is fixed in one in the middle and rotates around the middle point in the vertical plane. So let's see it in action. So if I grab if I grab it, I can rotate it in, in the vertical plane and it's also affected by physics objects and itself it can affect other physics objects. So let's see how we can implement this. So we're going to use two static meshes, one for the board and one for the base. Uh, the board is going to be fixed in this point and rotating around it. Now, in order to impose that those limits, we're going to use a physics constraint. So let's go ahead and create the actor. For the board, we're going to use a simple cube and scale it down. And for the base, we're going to use a static mesh. Just make sure you parent it to the default scene root and readjust the scale. Actually, the scale we're going to put to 0 0.3. And for the static mesh, we're going to use a pyramid. Of course, you can, you can use whatever you like. So we'll bring, bring the board up to the point of the pyramid and we can now create a physics constraint. Uh, and we'll parent it to the default scene root also. Okay, now make sure the scale is set to 1. And now the rotation of the board is going to be the its pivot is going to be the location of the uh, physics constraint in relation to the board. So make sure that the physics constraint is placed exactly where you wanted the pivot uh, the rotation to pivot. In this case we're going to use the middle of the board. So it's already there because we created it as a child. So it's set exactly to, to that uh, position. Now, because the board is moving, we have to activate simulate physics. And then we have to connect the two to the physics constraint. And we do that by filling in the names here, base and the board. Now they're connected. And we, if in order to have a normal interaction between the two, we have to disable collision. So we do that by searching collision and checking disable collision. Now this will disable the collision between the two of them, them, but they will collide with the rest of the world. So for the limits, the linear limits will leave locked because we don't want the board to slide, but the angular limits will change. So just lock everything and we'll unlock the rotation around the y-axis, uh, which is the vertical plane. So this one, we can see this disk is showing the rotation which is allowed. So we can try it out like this already. So just drag it in. Sorry. And you can see I, I can already move it and because the weights on others on each side are equal it will just stay in place wherever I, I, I leave it. Now if we want to make it come back to the horizontal position we can go ahead in the physics constraint we can activate an angular motor here 
just select twist and swing and check the swing because it's the swing motion that we're letting free and um, here you can set the strength we'll leave it like this for now so this actually defines a target orientation in relation to the original orientation to this orientation right here and because it's zero 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 it will actually stay exactly try to stay exactly how we put it right now but if you want you can you can change it we'll see it this later so let's set like this so when we leave it free it will it will try to come back to its horizontal position now we see that it wobbles a lot now and if you want to reduce the wobble what we can do is actually use a target velocity of zero so it's also a force that will try to slow it down so i think we can leave it to one so let's see now so we can see that it it, it comes back really uh, it stabilizes really fast but it doesn't uh, it, the, it, and it doesn't wobble that much now there is a special situation if we leave it in place at the zero velocity we can see that it stays in place and this is because the board which is a simulated physics is going to sleep because its velocity is it's really really small or zero it will go to sleep and uh, not move anymore so if we go to the board and search sleep we can see its sleep family is set to normal now if we set this to sensitive that mean and uh, that means that uh, the speed which at which it will go to sleep it's going to be a lot lower and we can actually uh, adjust this threshold here so let's test it out now so you can see i i try to bring it to a stop and it still comes back because it doesn't go to sleep anymore i'm um, uh, uh, of course if you want to set this limit lower or higher you have to do this by by uh, adjusting this so let's go back to the physics constraint and for the angular motor that we use we're actually going to set this force a lot lower because if not this force will actually push objects out of the way and normally a seesaw doesn't act on itself so we'll just try to look make it look more natural by setting the force lower so you can see it acts more naturally now now the last thing i want to show you is uh, if you want it's how to limit the rotation angle so if we want it to the rotation to be limited to a certain angle in the physics constraint in the swing motion we check limited and we're gonna we're gonna leave it to 45 that means it's gonna it's gonna let it rotate to a 45 degree angle above and above and below the horizontal or it's more likely to the or original position that we put it in so let's test it like this so we have to drag it up for this so as you can see it rotates at a 45 angle but not more and it's stopping dead at that limit now if you want it to stop softly what you can do you can go back to the physics constraint and activate soft constraint and set the stiffness and damping here let's say we'll set 20 so it's more apparent and now when it's trying to stop it's gonna stop it softly okay it 
and it's coming back to the horizontal position if you want it to come back to another position let's see 30 or 40 degrees you can go ahead and change that in the physics constraint in the target orientation so remember this target orientation is actually uh, rotation uh, the angle of rotation uh, relative to its original position not relative to the horizontal of the world but relative to its original position so if we put this here at 30 let's say we'll see the result right away so it's actually trying to get trying to make it stay at 30 degrees so if we destabilize it it will come back So I think this is it. The only thing I would uh, like to notice is if you don't want this uh, base to show and you just want a board in midair, mid you can actually go and check, uh, select the base and you can check either uncheck visible. So you search visible and uncheck this and this will make it invisible here and in game or you can search for hidden and if you check this it will only be hidden in game and not here and if you want it to not collide with the world just go to the base and to the collision and check select custom and here you can select query only and ignore everything and now it's going to be invisible uh, sorry I actually I forgot now it's going to be invisible and it will not be affected and will not collide with the world so as you can see there is no base there anymore Okay, so I think this is it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. So, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.